up guys Bobby here from Everyman's Preps where your skills must be as sharp as the blade you carry and uh, yep stupid motto again I'm here to talk to you guys and this is gonna seem really stupid cuz uh, I don't know trying this new thing where instead of me holding a knife waving it around I'm just gonna show you the knife on a table yay so here to talk to you guys about SOG it's called the Mag SOG Magna Dot. Can't really see it. It's engraved in there on the blade itself. SOG Magna Dot. Yep. Uh, I got some notes written down here, I guess. And uh, so, yep, we'll get right into it. I have this knife here only because I was going around Walmart looking for a tarp and possibly even a hammock for my bug out bag. I'm kind of re-slimming it down. Used to carry a tent and a sleeping bag, and now that I look at it, it's kind of ridiculous. So I figured I'd try and go for a tarp and uh, a hammock, and see what that let's see how that takes me. But uh, couldn't find a tarp or a hammock. Imagine my surprise. Instead, I ended up finding some super glue, which is what I needed for this project over here. I'm fixing my control arm, or not the control arm, the arm or whatever it is, on the uh, mag release button there. It puts tension on the spring of the mag release button. And uh, kind of snapped, so super glue to the rescue. Yay. I'm just waiting for that to dry out. I'm probably going to give it a day before I even start messing around with it anymore, but that's the complete disassembly of my... Uh, Crossman C11 CO2 pistol, uh, CO2 powered pistol, semi automatic. But we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about this the SOG Magna Dot. Uh, its handle is glass reinforced nylon with a basic nylon sheath. So this is nylon, but this is apparently glass reinforced nylon. I don't even know the difference. Um, there's no belt clip to it. Maybe I can pick it up, I'll show you. There's no absolutely no belt clip to it, but it's a lockback, which is uh, pretty cool. Uh, it's not; it's kind of a stiff blade. That's a, that's what it looks like closed. It's uh, fits in there snugly. I haven't put it on my belt yet. I just got it a few hours ago. Thought I'd show or give my two cents about it. Uh, there's no belt clip. I already covered that. The it came with a sharpener uh, slash fire starter. And i got to tell you, right out of the box, this thing, package, whatever, uh, this did not surprise me. Uh, did not impress me. The fire striker fell right out. I actually ended up using the first bit of super glue I used on the fire striker to put that back on there. Um, but it does have what looks to be a diamond uh, file for the sharpening. And it's the same material you see in those other sharpeners that you run the blade through but uh, it's not in a crisscrossing pattern so you really have to keep your angles this is really small I mean my I don't have big hands you've probably just seen it in the video but uh, that's really small even from my hands I tried sharpening with this uh, for about five minutes and went fuck it and got my diamond sharpener out my actual diamond sharpener uh, okay it has a belt mounted case which is this thing again all it is basically a few belt loops but they do give you some options you can uh, thread it through this way or thread it, thread it through the regular way um, says SOG a good button like the SOG spirit you can hear it snap, you can feel it secure um, the steel type, they don't even tell you really if it's steel or carbon steel or uh, stainless steel or whatever, but um, it does tell you steel type is 7CR17MOV. Uh, yeah, I know. Uh, I have no clue what the fuck that is. Its blade length is 3.63 3 inches. Overall, when opened, is 8.40 and closed is 4.77 inches. Technical, yay. It is engravable, and the blade thickness is 0.15 inches thickness. Yay. 
Uh, I mean, that's basically all the notes I got. So I guess it's down to my personal opinion. Um, I needed a non-fixed blade uh, for open carry. Uh, apparently people still get freaked out about fixed blades hanging off your belt, even though it's the law to carry them like that so everyone can see it. It still kind of makes me feel like I'm a criminal. And talking with my family about that, they seem to think it's better if I had something I could easily just keep in my pocket or my backpack. And uh, as far as I know, which I have read many times to even get to the point where I figured if I really wanted to, I could walk down the street in Massachusetts with a sword on my back. There is no blade length limit where I live. And there is no legal definition between a sword and a knife as long as it follows the blade carry guidelines. I know you could see that, so I'll do it again. Guidelines. You can carry a uh, freaking Nodachi on your back, which is a sword that is taller than I am. And, you know, you'll get pulled over. You'll be like, why the fuck are you doing this? So I really don't know why anyone would want, would want to. But, uh, yeah. So... Sog Magnadot. My thoughts. I really don't know. It has a partial serrated tip. It is really stiff, and I need some WD-40. Can't really flick it open like most knives. Uh, yeah. All I know is that this will not be a sharpener, but it will be going in my bug-up bag, because the fire steel on it is... Uh, pretty good. Uh, it only took a few sh a few scratches on it to get it to actually be able to get the sparks from it. Um, so yeah. Uh, but I don't use the edge. I use the partly serrated edge for that. Uh, only because I don't want to fuck up the edge on that. I just got it sharpened. Yay. Oh, speaking of sharpening. I uh, was sharpening up my friend's karambit with one of those run th run your knife through things, but... Yeah. Focus. Hold on. Almost got it. I'm doing this with my iPhone, so... There we go. Yeah, that's a pretty deep gash. On my thumb. So now, we focus again. Yay! Thank you, iPhones, for autofocus shit. Honestly, I don't know. After seeing the whole... Sharpener, striker, and filer, whatever you want to call that thing. Just It's like the the, uh, the non-coarse part of a sharpening stone. But after seeing that fiasco, right out of the box, it's just falling apart. I don't know. All I know is that I kind of trust lock, bl lock back blades more than I trust um, other kinds of blades. You know, the ones with the push thingy. Those could easily just be moved out the way while you're holding it, and next thing you know, you got your fingers chopped off. Yay. But, uh, it's a snug fit. I gotta try putting this on my belt, that in it. Um, eh, we'll have to see what happens. But for right now, this is just a first impressions, really. I'm um, giving you the specs, my first impressions of just opening it up. And probably a few months from now, we'll give, like, an actual review on it. More than just my thoughts and my my impressions, first impressions. Probably an act. You'll probably see some wear and tear on this knife, or you won't see it at all because it'll be fucking destroyed. Yay, Sog. Um, I'm okay with Sog. The Sog Spirit's good. Some of their other knives are good. Um, this is actually only the second thing of Sog that I've owned. But I'll tell you what, if it's stupid or if it's awesome, you guys will know about it. So that's me, Bob, Bobby, whatever. So that's me, Bobby, from Everyman's Preps. Stay safe. Stop it!